remember our present, but though we can treasure your blessings. You start a lifetime with love within us, cleanse us from all the tribes and some good ones, save power, so glory to God in the highest. On earth, peace among men, good will. Glory to God in the highest. On earth, peace among men, good will. Glory to all my lips. My mouth will pray your praise. Blessed be the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Thank you. 
or drinks the cup of the Lord unworthily, sins against the body and the blood of the Lord. A man should examine himself first. Only then should he eat of the bread and drink of the cup. He who eats and drinks without recognizing the body eats and drinks a judgment on himself. That is why many among you are sick and infirm, and why so many are dying. If we were to examine ourselves, we would not be falling under judgment in this way. But since it is the Lord who judges us, he chastises us to keep us from being condemned with the rest of the world. Четання і спасування святого апостола Павла до Коринтян. Браття, я, що прийняв від Господа, це передав вам. Господь Ісус тієї ночі, якої був виданий, узяв хліб і, віддавши хвалу, розламав і сказав, «Прийміть, їжте, це є тіло моє, що за вас ламається. Робіть це на місць мене. Так само і чашу по вечері, кажучи, ця чаша – новий завіт у моєї крові. Робіть же це кожен раз, коли будете пити на мій спомин. Бо кожного разу, як і стер хліб цей, і п'єте цю чашу, смерть Господню звищаєте, поки він не прийде. Тому, хто буде їсти хліб та пити чашу Господню недостойно, буде винний супроти тіла і крови Господньої. Хай ваше кожне випробує себе самого, і тоді їсть цей хліб і п'є цю чашу. Бо хто їсть і п'є, не розрізняючи, що то тіло Господнє, суд собі їсть і п'є. Ось що був у вас багато недужих та хворих, та й чимало вмирають. Якби ми самі себе розсуджували, нас би не судили. Коли ж Господь нас судить, Він нас карає, щоб ми не були засуджені з освітом. My praying 
by pouring this perfume on my body, she has contributed toward a burial preparation. I assure you, wherever the good news is proclaimed throughout the world, what she did will be spoken of as her memorial. Then one of the twelve, whose name was Judas Iscariot, went off to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand Jesus over to you? They paid him 30 pieces of silver, and from that time on, he kept looking for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples came up to Jesus and said, Where do you wish us to prepare the Passover supper for you? He said, Go to this man in the city and tell him. The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. I am to celebrate the Passover with my disciples in your house. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover supper. When it grew dark, Jesus reclined at table with the twelve. Jesus, fully aware that he had come from God and was going to God, the Father who had handed everything over to him, rose from the meal and took off his cloth. He picked up a towel and tied it around himself. Then he poured water into basin and began to wash his disciples' feet and dry them with the towel he had around him. Thus he came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You may not realize now, what I'm doing, but later you will understand. Peter replied, You shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered, If I do not wash you, you will have no share in my heritage. Lord, Simon Peter said to him, Then not only my feet, but my hands, my head as well. Jesus told him, The man who has bath has no need to wash except for his feet. He is entirely cleansed, just as you are, though not all. The reason he said not all are washed clean was that he knew his betrayer. After Jesus had washed the feet of the twelve, he put his cloak around and reclined at table once more. He said to them, Do you understand what I just did for you? You address me as teacher and Lord. And fittingly enough, for that is what I am. But if you wash, uh, but if I washed your feet, I who am teacher and Lord, then you must wash each other's feet. What I just did was to give you an example, as I have done, so you must do. I solemnly assure you, no slave is greater than his master, no messenger outranks the one who sent him. Once you know all these things, blessed you will be if you put them into practice. In the course of the meal, Jesus said, I assure you, one of you is about to betray me. Distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He replied, The man who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will hand me over. The Son of Man is departing, as Scripture says of him. But woe to the man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Better him if he had never been born. Better for him if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, spoke, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. Jesus answered, It is you who have said it. Who have said it. During the meal, Jesus took bread and blessed, broke, and gave it to his disciples, take this and eat it. He said, This is my body. Then he took cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them. All of you must drink from it, he said. For this is my blood, the blood of the new of the new of the covenant to be poured out in behalf of many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink this fruit of the vine from now until the day when I drink it new with you in my Father's reign. 
Then, after singing songs of praise, they walked out to the Mount of Olives. Jesus said to them, Tonight your faith in me will be shaken. For scripture has it, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be dispersed. But after I am raised up, I will go to Galilee ahead of you. Peter responded, Though all may have their faith in you shaken, mine will never be shaken. Jesus said to him, I give you my word, before the cock crows tonight, you will deny me three times. Peter replied, Enough, even though I have to die with you, I will never disown you. And all the other disciples said the same. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane. He said to his disciples, Stay here while I go over there and pray. He took along Peter and Zebedee's two sons and began to experience sorrow and distress. Then he said to them, My heart is nearly broken with sorrow. Remain here and stay awake with me. He advanced a little and fell prostrate in prayer. My father, if, it, if it's possible, let this cup pass me by. Still, let it, let, it be, let it be as you would have it, not as I. An angel then appeared to him from heaven to strengthen him in his anguish. He prayed with all the greater intensity, and his sweat became like drops of blood falling to the ground. When Jesus returned to his disciples, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, So you could not stay away with me for even an hour. Be on guard and pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but nurture is weak. Withdrawing a second time, he began to pray, My father, if this cannot pass me by without my drinking it, your will will be done. Once more on his return, he found them asleep. They could not keep their eyes open. He left them again, withdrew somewhat, and began to pray a third time, saying the same words as before. Finally, he returned to his disciples and said to them, Sleep on now. Enjoy your rest. The hour is on us. When the Son of Man is to be handed over to the power of the evil man, get up. Let us be on our way. See, my betrayer is here. While he was still sleeping, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived accompanied by great crowds with swords and clubs. They had been sent by the chief priests and elders of the people. His betrayer had arrived, arrived to give them a sign, saying, The man I shall embrace is the one. Take hold of him. He immediately, he immediately went over to Jesus, said to him, Peace, Rabbi, and embraced him. Jesus answered, Friend, do what you are here for. At that moment, they stepped forward to lay hands on Jesus at the, and arrested him. Suddenly, one of those who accompanied Jesus put his hand to his sword, drew it, and slashed at the high priest's servant, cutting off his hair. Jesus said to him, Put back your sword where it belongs. Those who use the sword are sooner or later destroyed by do you not suppose I can call on my father to provide at the moment's notice more than twelve legions of angels? But then how would the scriptures be fulfilled, which say I must, it must happen this way? At that very time, Jesus said to the crowd, Am I a, 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 am I a brigand that you have come armed with swords and clubs to arrest me? From day to day I sat teaching in your temple precinct, yet you never arrested me. Nonetheless, all this has happened in fulfillment of the writings of the prophets, that all of the disciples deserted him and fled. Those who had apprehended Jesus led him off to Caiaphas. The high priests were the scribes and elders were condemned. Peter kept following him at a distance. 
as far as the high priest's residence. Going inside, he sat down with the guards to see the outcome. The chief priests, with the whole Sanhedrin, were busy trying to obtain false testimony against Jesus so that they might put him to death. They discovered none, despite the many false witnesses who took the stand. Finally, two came former forward and stated, This man has declared, I can destroy God's sanctuary and rebuild it in three days. The high priest rose to his feet and addressed Jesus. Have you not answered, have you no answer to this testimony leveled against you? But Jesus remained silent. The high priest then said to him, I order you to tell us under oath before the living God whether you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Jesus answered, It is you who say it. But I tell you this, so soon you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming on the clouds of heaven. At this the high priest tore his robes and, and said, He has blushed. What further need have we of witnesses? Remember, you hear the blasphemy. What is your verdict? They answered, He deserves death. Then they began to spit on his face and hit him. Others slapped him, saying, Play the prophet for us. Messiah, who struck you? Peter was sitting in the courtyard when one of the servant girls came over to him and said, You too were with Jesus, the Galilean. Peter denied it in front of everyone. I do not know what you are talking about. When he went out to the gate, another girl saw him and said to those nearby, This man was with Jesus, the Nazarene. Again, Peter denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. A little while later, some bystanders came over to Peter and said, You are certainly one of them. Even your accent gives you away. At that, Peter began cursing and swore, I do not even know the man. Just then, a cock began to crow, and Peter remembered the prediction Jesus had made. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Peter went out and began to whip, whip bitterly. At daybreak, all the chief priests and the elders of the people took formal action against Jesus to put him to death. They began, they bound him and led him away to be handed over to prosecutor Pilate. short reflection, we have entered this year of Holy Week, unlike the previous one. We've experienced a way of life the past few weeks, and it's really weeks, it almost feels like months, but few weeks only. We never anticipated. Our St. George's Church has been in lockdown. We have ever taught, we would encourage safety by encouraging people not to come to the church. But a couple of things you can still do. We invite everyone to send me names to be prayed for or any other prayer request. I'll be happy to pray for you and your loved one during this time while the, the doors are closed. So on the Holy Thursday, we turn to the last events of our Lord and His Passion. Thursday morning, as of now, begin, we begin with Divine Liturgy commemorating a mystical supper. At this liturgy, I will later on consecrate one more host. 
and I will keep it in tabernacle. It is from this hose that the Holy Communion will be distributed to the Shatins and to the sick throughout the coming year. Actually, Thursday, today's evening, actually begins the service of engraved in the Holy Friday. The service of the Twelve Passions, Passion Gospels, commemorates the solemn time of Lord's crucifixion. Really, as my reflection, I would like to share with you this prayer. Lord God, you sent your Son into the world, and before his hour had come, you he washed his disciples' feet. You had given all things into his hands. He had come from you and was going to you. And what did he do? He knelt down on the floor and washed his friends' feet. He was their teacher and their Lord, yet he washed their feet. Lord God, help us to learn from his example. Help us to be, to do as he has done for us. The world will know, the world will know we are his disciples if we love each other. Strengthen our hands and our wills for love and service. Keep before our eyes the image of your Son, who, being God, became the servant for our sake. All glory to be to him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Slava Jesus Christ. Slava Я бы ворогам своим 
Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in being and undivided. Immortal peace, you speak on the ship, the clear creatures of all the ship, the water of all your ship. Shia, 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 Os Potsa.
that this which I would receive and which is now here present with us in mystery is through your most precious body and your living, life-giving blood. <coughs> I one day partake of your mystical supper again for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. Accept me this day, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not tell the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief, I confess to you. Bless us. Remember me, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Bless us. Always, now, and forever, and ever. Amen. Accept me this day, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not tell the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief, I confess to you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. <coughs> Save us for his good. He loves men and God. 